the 1989 NFL Draft. So here we go. This is a pretty famous draft class. Number one pick overall, Dallas Cowboys drafted Troy Aikman. So you got a wide receiver the year before who ended up in the Hall of Fame, and you have the quarterback Troy Aikman of UCLA who ended up in the Hall of Fame. So you guys are amazing getting a, you're getting your draft choices uh, in the first round, and this is the number one overall. Amazing career, three Super Bowls, you and Michael Irvin, and we're going to get to one of your other uh, – we're going to see that there's going to be other colleagues around the way. Um, Green Bay Packers took Tony Mandarich, tackle Michigan State, kind of in one of those draft busts, as they say. He was well-known steroid user. Eventually, he actually did get back to the NFL and played uh, with the Indianapolis Colts. Now, apparently, he's a photographer. Okay. Uh, Green uh, Detroit Lions took Barry Sanders, one of, if not top, definitely considered top running back of all time. Um, he was in the NFL 100 uh, honors. I mean, I saw his career, you know, up close, I suppose, because I grew up as so I was living in Tampa. They came down to play Tampa twice. Tampa plays them twice a year, or at least they did. Uh, and, um, so, I mean, what can you say about Barry Sanders? And obviously Troy Aikman, come on. Kansas City Chiefs, Derek Thomas, linebacker, Alabama. So we already have three Hall of Famer, and we're going to get to a, a fourth Hall of Famer. Uh, I mean, this draft was loaded. Atlanta Falcons, Deion Sanders, defensive back, Florida State. Considered one of the greatest, I mean, the greatest quarter, uh, one of the greatest cornerbacks uh, of all time. Played two ways, played wide receiver. Sometimes uh, one of the most amazing punt returners of all time and played baseball. So just insane career now a coach, University of Colorado. I mean, what more can you say about Deion Sanders? Thank you, Deion. Six uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Broderick Thomas, linebacker, Nebraska, Pittsburgh Steelers, Tim Worley, running back, Georgia, San Diego Chargers, Burton. Grossman, defensive end, Pittsburgh, Miami Dolphins, Sammy Smith, running back, Florida State, Phoenix Cardinals, Eric Hall. So now they're at St. Louis. Now they move to uh, Phoenix. L linebacker, Louisiana State. Chicago Bears, Donnell Wolford, defensive back, Clemson. Definitely heard of your career. Uh, Chicago Bears, Trace Armstrong, defensive end, Florida Cleveland Browns, Eric Metcalf, another all-around great player, amazing uh, kick returner, punt returner. I believe he and eventually, I think his knee got hurt. Or you know, running backs is you know tough, tough, uh, tough sledding there that with that with that specific position. Uh, it's hard. It's really difficult, obviously. Uh, New York Jets, Jeff Lang Langman, linebacker, Virginia. Seattle Seahawks, Andy Andy Heck, tackle, Notre Dame. New England Patriots at 16, Hartley Dykes, wide receiver, Oklahoma State, Phoenix Cardinals, Joe Wolf, guard, Boston College, New York Giants, Brian Williams, guard, Minnesota. Now, I don't know much about interior linemen or, uh, you know, defensive linemen, so I don't really know who's good or who's not, who had a great career, because you don't normally hear about these players unless they're just, you know, the most exceptional ones. Um uh, Cause they, you know, we don't, they're not the, they're not on the, they're not the quote unquote skilled positions. Uh, they're not the quarterbacks, wide receivers, you know, the, the sort of flashy positions. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see New Orleans saints, Wayne Martin, defensive end, Arkansas, Denver Broncos, Steve Atwater, defensive back, Arkansas. I believe he's in the hall of fame. Uh, Los Angeles Rams, Bill Hawkins, defensive end, Miami, Florida, 22, Andre Risen. Are you? I believe you should. If you went to any of us Colts, I think he played most of his career in Buffalo. Yeah, I believe you're in the Hall of Fame. You definitely should be. Michigan State um, and Houston Oilers at number 23. David Williams, tackle Florida. Pittsburgh Steelers, Tom Ricketts, tackle for Pittsburgh. Miami Dolphins, Lewis Oliver, defensive back, Florida. We see now that teams in Florida are starting to dominate the draft. You know, you have uh, University of Florida Gators, and you had, of course, the, the U of University of Miami and Florida State with Deion Sanders. So we had, I mean, in the 80s, those three teams were pretty dominant in college football. So we see, like, their players are going into the NFL. It's kind of what it was Alabama and the SEC is now. 
Atlanta Falcons, Sean Collins, wide receiver, Northern Arizona, 28, San Francisco 49ers, Keith DeLong, linebacker, Tennessee, Dallas Cowboys at 29, Steve Winiskowski, guard, Penn State. I, I'm pretty sure I remember hearing you, so because, of course, you're on the famous uh, offensive line of his uh, Cowboys teams. Uh, Detroit Lions, John Ford, wide receiver, Virginia. Again, we see the Lions just uh, not drafting, you know, top tier, you know, what we consider top tier players. Sorry, Mr. Ford. I'm sure you're an amazing human being. 31, Cleveland Browns. Lawyer Tillman, wide receiver, Auburn. Uh, and Kansas City Chiefs, looking for a quarterback, went with Mike Elkins, quarterback of Wake Forest. So those are the top 32 people chosen in the first round of the 1989 draft, which had one, two, three, four, four uh, Hall of Famers uh, out of the first five picks. And then we had four, let's see, then we had another – See Atwater, I believe, Andre Risen, maybe. I believe that, I mean, is that six Hall of Famers in one draft? At least five. I mean, we know for four, and I mean, I'm not a, you know, Hall of Fame historian, but uh, wow, insane, amazing draft, the 1989 NFL draft. Whoever, you know, was selecting for those teams, Great job.